So what, what it all comes down to is that we have an industry here, an important communications industry, a communications medium uh, called motion picture, which is controlled and has been controlled for its, I don't know, 115 year existence by pretty much the same people. A small group of politically liberal, not very religious Jewish males of European heritage. Uh, and that lack of diversity at the top results in a, a lack of diversity in the movies in terms of both people who are portrayed in the movies uh, positively and negatively and it, it results in patterns of bias. It uh, came about because of massive discrimination so thousands of lives have been ruined over the years by those arbitrary choices that have been, been being made based on nepotism, cronyism and favoritism and other forms of discrimination and our democracy is being weakened uh, as a result because of the, uh, the narrow spectrum of ideas that are being uh, disseminated through motion pictures uh, by this narrowly defined group that controls Hollywood. The Supreme Court observed that mass media may affect public attitudes and behavior in a variety of ways, ranging from direct espousal of a political or social doctrine to the subtle shaping of thought which characterizes all artistic expression. Given this, we the people and those shareholders who own the publicly held mainstream media corporations should work together to create more diversity in the executive ranks of the Hollywood-based studios and the New York-based networks. The Supreme Court, I think, was expressing uh, essentially self-evident truth that the mass media is presenting ideas in all sorts of forms. They can be presenting political theories, political news, political fact. But the point is that motion pictures can go from fact to fiction. And across that wide spectrum, you can have all sorts of political influence. What political theories do you promote? Which ones do you denigrate? Which political facts do you choose to present in the nightly news or in the documentaries? Right? What kind of uh, political uh, opinions do you allow to be expressed with favor or do you treat with disdain? What sort of fiction do you provide? The good guys have particular political viewpoints, the bad guys have the opposite. And in the long run, inundation of the public with particular viewpoints, whether presented as fact, opinion, or in some kind of fictional mode, are going to have long-term effects. He goes and he looks at the nightly news, and the news tells him, these are the facts about what's going on in Syria or Turkey or Bulgaria or whatever the country may be. Is he going to go himself and research those questions to determine whether that's true, or is he going to accept it, especially when he sees it day after day, night after night, week after week, because some of these things go on for a long period of time. And the same thing with uh, fictional presentations. If the fictional presentations that he sees all take a particularly favorable attitude towards the Department of Homeland Security, towards the National Security Administration, uh, surveilling everyone in the world, and so forth and so on, what is the impression that will be left in the mind of that viewer?